We're solving the equation in radians. This time I have a cos squared and I have a cos x. So I'm going to think about factoring. I'm going to move everything over to one side. So I move the negative 3 cos squared x to the left. I'm going to move the 1 also to the left hand side. To make one side equal to 0, and then we can solve a quadratic equation either by factoring or with the quadratic formula. Unfortunately, if you try, this one doesn't factor. So we go to our formula sheet, and on our formula sheet it says, do it in blue here, that ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 x is equal to negative b plus or minus c. So that's on our formula sheet. But we don't have x squared, we have cos squared. So in our solving, we don't write x equal, we write cos equal. So negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a, and this simplifies to negative 1 plus or minus 1 plus 12, 13 over 6. With that plus or minus, I'm going to split it into two. I'm going to do 1 where it's the plus, and 1, where it's the minus. And with both of these, I'm going to change them to decimals. Obviously, they're not on our pi plate. So I'm curious what negative 1 plus the square root of 13 over 6 is equal to. 0 0.434. And the reason it's nice to change it to a decimal here is now I can see that it's positive. So I'm going to want to find a reference angle. And then cos is positive in quadrants 1 and 4. So my reference angle on this side will be cos inverse of this answer, 64.26. I'm still in degrees. This question is in radians, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my calculator. I'm going to get good at switching from radians to degrees in this unit. And I get a reference angle of 1.121. One. So, what do they want us to round to? Nearest hundredth. So in quadrant 1, it'll be 1.12. And then I also need an answer in quadrant 4. So I go 2 pi minus my answer, 5.16. Next, on the other side, if I type this into my calculator, negative 1 minus the square root of 13 divided by 6. This time it's negative. So cos of x is negative 0 0.76. And so when I find my reference angle, I have to do the cos inverse of the positive value. So what I do in this situation, because if I take this answer from the previous one, it's negative. I can multiply it by negative 1 to make it positive. So my reference angle is 6.95. 0 0.695, sorry. Dot, dot, dot. And because it's negative, I'm going to need to find my answer in quadrants 2 and quadrants 3. So I'm going to store this as x. 
My answer in quadrant two will be pi minus my reference angle, 2.45. And my answer in quadrant three will be pi plus my reference angle, 3.84. So I just solved between zero and two pi. Oh, it's like, why do they do this to me? You see what the domain is? The domain they're looking for is negative pi to pi. So we're going to make some notes here. We are now thinking from 0 to pi in the positive direction and from 0 to negative pi in the negative direction. This answer was in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4, quadrant 2, and quadrant 3. So does it make sense that we have to take out this answer and this answer and rewrite them as a negative coterminal angle. In quadrant four, with a reference angle of 1.12, this will become negative 1.12. And in quadrant three, with a reference angle of 0.695, does quadrant three in the negative direction, do you realize that that's the same as quadrant two because you go two quadrants in the negative direction. So my answer here is going to be negative 2.45. So we did our question, got our answers normally between 0 and 2 pi, checked our domain, and had to do some changes. Although I like those answers. I like the answers from negative, uh, sorry, from 0 to 2 pi because I like to write my general solution using those four signs. So 1.12, 5.16, so um, 2.45, and 3.84 in rating, so plus 2 k pi. belongs to the integers. So you will get some questions, like quadratic questions, where you have to use the quadratic formula. I'm going to get you to circle questions 12, 13, and 14. And 14, I think a lot of them you can factor. So if you want to look at number 14 right now,